I'm walking down by the river wall today. I see this guy, he's got the like the tank top on, the gold grills. He's like, what up, bruh? You know, you, you know what I'm talking about, right? And he comes up to me, he goes, bruh, what's up with them kicks? And I was like, what's up with them? I like them. But he got like all in my space. And I'm like, first of all, six feet. Come on, it's a pandemic. But then you're gonna come up to me and like ask me about my shoes, and now I feel threatened. I know I look tough, <laughs> that's a joke. Um, but I, I try, right? I try to front like I'm that, you know, I'm from Brooklyn, I gotta represent. But then I have this like inner complex where I'm like, I know I'm a bitch, like I can run, I'll run. I'll, I'll knock down my girlfriend if we're in this situation. She better be able to recover, you know what I mean? Cause I'm out, for real. And coming down to the valley was a real culture shock for me. It was really like a shock. Cause I thought, like I'm Puerto Rican, I, I, I'm really like a white boy inside a Puerto Rican body to be honest with you, but I thought I knew Spanish. So I went to the grocery store for the first time when I got to the valley. And this lady looks at me and she goes, ¿Cómo estás, mijito? Uh, ¿Qué quieres? And I'm like, all right, I got this. Necesito, right? And I do my thing. And then she started speaking like real Mexican. She started saying chingado and all that. I, I didn't know what was going on. And I was like, I am out of my fucking element at this point. It was scary. I was like, you know what that is? And I felt for the first time like what black people must feel when they see cops, right? Fear. Because I'm like, I'm Spanish, but she's doing some like, she's remixing Spanish. And I don't know what the fuck I'm supposed to do with that. I grew up whey protein was a fucking, a protein. Like, you, you, meatheads took it, right? I'm in the valley, and I'm like, Mira, <laughs> I'm not a Puerto Rican from New York. How do I sound that way? <laughs> Dude, I would take you. I went from like literally, like Taco Bell was Mexican to me in New York City. And I come out here and I'm like, yo, let's go to Taco Bell. And motherfuckers give me the eye. They're like, no, oh, ojo, 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 ojo. And now there's ghosts at my house and I don't know what to do with this information. Should I get somebody in a sana sana with a seven up? I don't fucking know. It's like I'm a fish out of water here, man. But Jacob mentioned earlier, that there's a couple potheads in here, and I love it. I love smoking weed, man, right? And I've been smoking so much recently that, like, my girl, when she's on her period, like, I'm trying to, like, do my thing, and she shuts me down. So then I'm like, I know I'm not getting pussy, but then because I'm high as shit, like, I start narrating in my head like I'm David Attenborough. And I'm like, the young stallion settles into bed. The loyalness wants none of him. What is he to do? <laughs> what? <laughs> Give it up for jokesters, everybody! Thank you for your time. My name is Junior Hernandez. Give it up for your son. Give it up for your